Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about uh, how you can integrate the jQuery data tables uh, with React. So jQuery data table is a very popular library and uh, I've done some videos on that before. Uh, you can refer to those if you are interested. But uh, so the question is how can we uh, integrate it with React? So that's what I'm going to talk about today. So let's get started. Uh, I've done a little bit of prep work so I can uh, get this video uh, going fast and uh, so you'll benefit the most in the least amount of time. So basically what you want to do is have a starter uh, React app and then install jQuery and datatables.net which I've already done. So let me show you what I have in the app for now. Uh, basically I have a component that I created called table and I'm importing it from the table uh, and in this component, basically, uh, I'm not passing any properties or anything. So it says data is equal to this, and that's all an empty string. And in table.js, you can see that it is essentially uh, a class table, which extends component. And I put the three lifecycle hoops that uh, I want to talk about here. Component did mount, component will unmount, and the render function. And render function right now is just putting in a div. And that's where we'll put our table and that would be controlled by the data tables.net. So to get started, uh, you can import the CSS by using jQuery data table.css uh, and import that. That's pretty easy. Um, and here I'm going to use the dollar sign for jQuery. So you can say dollar require jQuery. And uh, under the jQuery data table, I would say so I can get the library access that's what I'm going to do so that's all you really uh, need uh, this is all I have in this app and if you look at it uh, it's basically uh, here so if I go into my react uh, extensions to give you, a, you know, just an overview of where it is so you can see the table is uh, component is here and there is no data so that's pretty much what it is so let's uh, uh, go ahead and uh, add start adding data tables.net so you can see we need some data set so that's where it's just a array library and this tells you how to invoke data table in the traditional way and uh, that's all it is and if you look in the HTML, we basically have a table which will class with a display and this is all it is. So let's uh, get this moving. So first I'm going to add basically the data set. Uh, that should be pretty straightforward. I can copy it and I'm going to add it as part of this component at the top level the app. So you can see, uh, let me just uh, do a format document so it looks cleaner. And uh, here in the data, we would uh, now be passing the data set. So you can do this. And this should uh, basically uh, cause the data set to be passed. And of course, we need to use JSX, so you need to uh, additionally do that. So now the data set should be coming into our table. So we can take a quick look. And if we go into our table, you can see the data is coming through and we are all good. So next step is to uh, how do we use this table in our component right here. So the first thing you want to do is uh, add your table uh, here, HTML table here. So I think I have copied uh, the right syntax here. So I won't make any typos and don't waste too much of your time. So if you look at it, uh, it's uh, pretty much uh, what I showed you in the HTML where we have all this. The only difference is that what you want to do is get a ref and a ref gets this particular element and uh, you want to store this in your component, uh, this dot .el, this, uh, this reference to this uh, table component. And you can see what it is if we look in the lifecycle hook, you can say console uh, dot .log and this dot el because we did uh, add this reference here and you can kind of quickly check what this uh, is so i can show you that so it's not really any mystery or anything but here you can see that it pre printed the this dot el so that's what it is the reference so once you have the reference uh, you can go ahead and start creating uh, the invoking the library so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sh uh, store this reference as this dot dollar pl and this is how you look at the react documentation it is uh, recommended if you're trying to integrate uh, jquery uh, with it so that's all you need to do 
to invoke the library what we're going to do is this dot dollar el dot data table and that's all we have and inside we need to obviously give the data table the object which we want to work with and i have the object already copied here which is basically specifying the columns that we have one two three four five six columns so that's all you really need to do to have your data table being controlled and let's just see if it works so here you can see that it is working fine and uh, you can uh, scroll to the next entry and you can also do the search for example let's just uh, search for sylvia so it's doing the searches so everything is pretty good and right now working that you expect uh, under the data table the only other thing you want to do is when the component unmounts you want to destroy this and that would be very simple what you want to do is get the reference and uh, right now we'll get the data table and we'll call the destroy function true and that should take care of the component uh, essentially cleaning itself properly so if you look at it it's actually pretty straightforward to integrate jquery data table.net which is a very powerful library inside and create a, a small component and use it in the so you can see the JavaScript, I basically have, you're invoking it the data tables this way, which is also obviously what I showed you in HTML is here and the CSS, you include this. So thank you for watching this short screencast. Hopefully you found this uh, useful in your development. And I would add this under react with jquery data tables.net uh, on my video. And thank you and you have a great day.